It is time once again for another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. So gather your grandma, your grandpa, your kids, your cousins, your friends, your neighbors, everybody around your computer, because it's time for another book review. And it's another great fiction book. Today, the book is The Murder Rule by Dervla McTiernan. And this is published by William Morrow, and it re retails for $34.99. Um, Dervla is the author of three other uh, much acclaimed books, uh, The Ruin, The Scholar, and The Good Turn. And uh, I guess one good turn deserves another, because with The Murder Rule, she really gets into a very intense psychological thriller, one that you will not be able to put down. And uh, the book revolves uh, around a woman by the name of Hannah Rokeby. Um, she lives in Maine, and she lives with her mother, who is a very serious alcoholic. She has a lot of problems. But there's a lot of things from the past that her mother, Laura, has been part of. And as we find out, uh, Hannah writes a letter to Robert Perrick, uh, who's the head professor-in-law at the University of Virginia and she wants to join uh, that because they have a um, group called the Innocence Project and that is looking at people who have been charged, sent to jail, perhaps on death row, and supposedly they're innocent. And there's one man who is there uh, on death row uh, and his name is Michael Dandridge and they think he is not guilty of a crime he committed. He's been on death row for 10 years now. But Hannah wants to get in with the project. Uh, she sends this glowing email that she wants to come there and supposedly she says that her mother Laura has cancer and she's going through cancer trials so she wants to be there to, you know, to be close to her. Well, uh, that's a lie just to get on the Innocence Project uh, because her mother Laura uh, knew Michael Dandridge from many years ago when he was called Mike. In fact, she had a uh, lover named Tom who she was very close to and he was killed. And she thinks the man Mike, aka Michael Dandridge, was the murderer. So, but she can't come forth with this. So she wants her daughter, Hannah, to be part of the project so she can sort of derail the project and while, while they think they are looking for clues that will set him free, she wants to make sure he never ever steps out of a jail cell again. So it's technically, once she's part of the group, the Innocence Project, uh, then she can use her, her knowledge of Michael Dandridge and to make sure, like I said, that he never ever gets out of jail again. So it's, uh, um, we also find uh, a lot of clues through Laura's diary, which takes up a good portion of the book. Um, she's reflecting back on, you know, that time in her life when Tom was part of her life and also Mike, Michael, uh, was also part of that life as well too. So it makes for very interesting reading as we slowly find out the clues. We're not sure at first what is, you know, behind Hannah's need to stop Michael Dandridge from being out of you know prison as the Innocence Project thinks he is a great person and he, he was railroaded in, into jail. Well, he wasn't railroaded. He deserved to be there. And uh, Laura wants to make sure that her daughter helps in keeping him in jail forever, uh, never setting foot outside a prison cell again. So that that is uh, really... Uh, this book rules in many ways because it's a very intense thriller. It's psychological. It's very subtle in places too. Um, Hannah, you kind of like and you kind of dislike her. She has good intentions, but in many times she's going about it the wrong way. But uh, if you like a book with uh, most fascinating characters where you will be constantly puzzled by what's happening and why it's happening, then The Murder Rule is certainly a book that you will not be able to put down. So uh, run out to your store, and uh, your bookstore, and uh, have a look for this book because it is definitely worth your time 
and worth your while. And if you're uh, a fan of Dervla McTurnan, and uh, I was not familiar with her, I had not uh, heard of her name before I picked up this book and started reading it, uh, definitely she's a book that I, or an author that I will be looking for her books for in the future. So there you go, kids. Uh, the murder rule. Go look for it. And uh, if you agree with me, please let me know and um, send me your comments, positive, negative. Maybe you won't like it. I did, and it doesn't mean everybody else will, but uh, give it a show, give it a look, give it a try. So that's the book for today. So uh, until we meet again, stay safe, stay sane, and uh, please stay in touch. And I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.